Hey, so today it's just a lazy day, and so so first I'm gonna put on this um it's like a bait it's a mascara base. So now I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I always put chapstick on before I put my um whatever like I'm putting lip gloss on or like lip liner. I always put chapstick on before. So now I'm going to put on a lip liner on this L'Oreal Color Rich. Um, it's called. Forever Rose. It's a really pretty color. Okay. My laptop camera does not do it justice. Then I'm going to put some of this lip gloss on. I think the base has dried it up, so I'm going to put on the Monsieur Big from Lancome. Oh, mascara, this mascara is awesome. You can't tell in laptop computer, computer, the my webcam, but it in person. They're really awesome. There you go. Webcam. So then I'm gonna spray my face with the Mario Badesk. It just feels really good on my face. Okay, so now I'm going to review some more products. So at Ulta, I love going to Ulta. Um, I like to get masks, and so these are um, the brand is Freeman. This one is uh, easy to peel off, and it has sweet tea and lemon. This one actually feels really good. 
and I love to just peel it off. It's really fun peeling it off. It dries to a point where it looks like it's like my skin tone, so then it feels like I'm peeling off my skin. It's really weird. And then this one's anti-stress Dead Sea Minerals. It's a clay mask, and I really love doing this one. Too. This one's really nice. So I would, I would suggest to get these if you like doing masks. It's fun. And then I went. I think I got, I got these at TJ Maxx, and they're these um, Cosmo Teas Green Tea Soothing Moisture Masks, and they're so nice. They feel so good. Makes my skin feel really soft afterwards, which is really nice. And then I have these Bior Charcoal, the nose strips, and they actually work because I get, I don't really get like a lot of pimples like on my face. I get them mostly like anywhere else on my face, but I get them mostly like on my nose. So these actually do help to reduce your nose pimples. I got, I got this again. I got this at Ulta. I got these at Ulta. The, these two masks that I'll talk about going on. But, um, it's um, Shia Sugar Scrub. It's from Tree Hut. And it actually it smells amazing. It smells really good. I love, love using this stuff. It makes my skin really soft. Because it's, um, for like, it's a whole body scrub. So I, I really scrub, like, my elbows, my knees, areas where it gets, like, really dry. You could scrub your feet with this. It feels nice. And I'm going to comment on a fragrance. This is my favorite perfume. It's Black Opium by St. Lawrence. It's just this one smells amazing. I like it smells so good I don't want to use it up. So like I only use it for like really special occasions. It just smells so good. It's like amazing. Um I got this, I think I forgot. I, I think I got it in Bir my birch box or Ipsy, one of them. And it's like a sample, it's like a hairspray. I usually don't use hairspray that often, but when I did try it, it, it was it didn't smell too bad. Like it didn't have that like an awful chemical smell. Um, but since I don't use hairsprays too much, I don't know the, like if it was if it's good or not. But it seems like it works to me. It's Amica Undone Texture Spray. It looks like this. It feels like it feels like it does what it's supposed to do. It's holding, you know, it's doing its job. But, but since I don't use hairspray all the time, I don't know if it's good or if it's. <laughs> yeah, I need to start using hairspray more so I can figure that out. Then I have these. Okay, so one of the things, um, this shampoo and a conditioner from the brand is called Love, and it, it smells so good. And it made my hair really, really soft. I ended up using up all the conditioner because it just came in like a little like package thingy. So I still have some of the shampoo left. But it actually, I really like this brand. And then, but then I ended up using this as hair food. It's a conditioner. Um, and actually, it makes, after I used it, it made my hair really soft. My hair gets kind of frizzy sometimes, and it helped. It made my, it, my hair was really soft. Like, really, really soft. Afterwards. And then the last thing I want to talk about is some nail polishes. These two nail polish colors I've been obsessed with lately. There's this um, Gina Taylor nail polish, and it's like a, like a lavender-y color. It's really pretty. And it's, it's really pretty. It's a really nice color. And then this one, I'm wearing this one right now. And it's, um, the brand is Sundays, and it's number 28. It's, it's like a gray, purple, it's really pretty. And I was looking on the Sunday, web, the website, and they have so many different colors. And I, I just, I love nail polish. But yeah. So that was all the stuff. Yeah. So comment down below and tell me like if there's like a video that you want to see or tell me your favorite nail polish or nail polish color. Um yeah. Bye. <laughs>